You know, for all of this talk of me and Bernie bros online throughout the 2020 Democratic Party primary process, we never hear the other side of this story. We never hear how aggressive the supporters of other candidates are. And it's the same thing as it was back in 2016. There was a study that showed that Bernie Sanders supporters were actually some of the least hostile, and Hillary Clinton supporters were the ones who were actually the most mean online. But you never heard that from the mainstream media. All you heard about were these sexist, racist, hostile Bernie bros. Now, there is another study that came out that shows that there's absolutely no data that suggests that mean Bernie bros are a thing. But nonetheless, this media narrative was so powerful that it got regular people to believe it because maybe they had an interaction or two with, you know, a Bernie Sanders supporter who was mean to them. Well, look, I've had many interactions with Andrew Yang supporters that were uh, not great. That doesn't mean that all of the Yang gang are bad and toxic. I've gotten into many arguments with people on Twitter over Tulsi Gabbard. That doesn't mean that all of Tulsi Gabbard's supporters were mean and toxic. Like, you've got to understand that because Bernie Sanders supporters are calling out these pundits because they put out misinformation about Bernie or a particular policy, that doesn't mean that, you know, the most mean people represent the aggregate movement. People are hostile only ostensibly because you perceive that to be hostile but to them they're putting you in check because their lives are on the line with this election so you know regardless this narrative persisted and it just it never went away and bernie was repeatedly called on by people like elizabeth warren to condemn this and uh, mike bloomberg to condemn this and nobody talked about the hostile biden bros but now that bernie sanders has dropped out they're really showing their true colors because as soon as bernie dropped um, one of the main targets of hostile Biden bros, Brianna Joy Gray, she was ambushed. She wrote about this on Facebook saying, thinking about how Biden supporters immediately photoshopped these images of me as essential workers in an effort to demean me and what it says about how much they actually care about working class people. Anyway, keep fighting. You don't take your moral guidance from folks who treat working people as a punchline. And that really says a lot about PMCs, the professional managerial class, which uh, is disproportionately, I think, the uh, median <laughs> Democratic Party voter. Like, they literally look down on people with these types of jobs. They view a McDonald's worker as someone who is lower than them. They are a lesser human because they work at McDonald's. Like, that is such a disgusting way of thinking. And as someone who comes from this world of fast food and retail, I can tell you that um, every single day I went into work, there was never a day where, you know, there wasn't someone that made me feel like I was less than them. I was lower than the scum on their shoes, right? Because people are very entitled. Like, I dealt with lots and lots of Karens and... You know, it really, over time, it it tends to degrade your self-worth. Like, I think that you kind of build up a thicker skin, but there's always going to be people that remind you in these types of jobs that, you know, they're better than you. And so to see them tweet out, you know, Brianna Joy Gray as a McDonald's worker, as if a McDonald's worker is someone to laugh at and not someone who's doing a real job making an honest living, it truly shows that these people don't actually care about the working class. They're phonies. They're phonies. And let me just say to PMCs who believe that McDonald's workers or any fast food or retail workers are lower than them in any way, shape, or form, you're not better than them. You think you are, but you're not. You're a human being just like they are, okay? You eat, sleep, shit just like them. You have desires, you feel happiness, you feel sadness, and they're the same way. They're not robots. They're to serve you and lick your fucking boot. These are human beings. So just the fact that there is this entitlement and this overall view, you know, for, for the working class, it's, it's honestly sickening. But I want to share an article from the New York Post that I think is phenomenal because it kind of takes this story and puts it all in context about the hypocrisy here with regard to the Bernie bro myth and how, you know, um... We're never going to talk about Biden bros in the mainstream media. So Adam Schrader reports 
Biden bros are attacking Bernie Sanders' national press secretary on social media by posting altered images depicting her as an essential worker in the wake of Sanders suspending his campaign. Brianna Joy Gray bemoaned the images allegedly created by Joe Biden supporters, which show Gray posing in uniforms for fast food and sanitation workers, some of the same jobs that have been praised during the coronavirus pandemic. Gray's Facebook post comes hours after she tweeted that Bernie was too kind to go after Biden, but it's coming. Either Dem leadership cares more about maintaining a corporate status quo than getting rid of Trump, or they're planning to replace Joe, adopting a pretty fast and loose relationship with representative democracy. Lose, lose. Gray continued, Dr. Jill Biden at a virtual coffee fundraising event Wednesday rejoiced that Sanders ended his campaign. Thank goodness we can finally get to work, Biden told donors. During his campaign, other presidential candidates, from Biden to Mike Bloomberg, routinely attacked Sanders' fan base. After his offices were vandalized in Tennessee, Bloomberg said the vandals' language echoes language from Sanders' campaign. After Elizabeth Warren dropped out of the presidential race, she slammed Sanders' supporters for doing really ugly stuff. So, for all of the hypocrites who loudly condemned Bernie bros, I'm looking at you, Mike Bloomberg. I'm looking at you, Elizabeth Warren. Where's your outrage now? Does this not offend you at all? I thought that you cared about the working class. I thought you cared about civility online. Why are you not condemning this? Like, this is not the only example. I talked about the week uh, beforehand. I think I talked about this. I certainly tweeted about this, how um, people online, former Elizabeth Warren supporters, now Biden supporters, even celebrities like Yvette Nicole Brown, were tweeting out photoshopped images of Diamond and Silk with Nina Turner and Brianna Joy Gray's faces on it, comparing them to literal MAGA chuds. And we've heard, you know, zero condemnation from the people who were the loudest about the Bernie bros. Let me tell you this. People like Elizabeth Warren and Mike Bloomberg care about decorum and civility online as much as Dave Rubin actually cares about free speech. These people are phonies and the arguments that they made condemning Bernie Sanders supporters as hostile online, that was nothing more than a political narrative that they uh, saw as convenient. That's it. And I mean, look at how... Little they care about the needs of the working class. Dr. Jill Biden said that, um, oh, thank goodness Bernie dropped out. Now we can finally get to work. I mean, the way that I see that is as her basically saying, oh, well, thank goodness the peasants lost. You know, fuck all their concerns. Now we can focus on the real issues. Wait. We were talking about the real issues. Shouldn't you be thanking Bernie Sanders for elevating issues that haven't been touched in decades? Well, of course not, because these issues are really inconvenient for someone like Joe Biden. I mean, you've got to get the message. The entire Democratic Party establishment, I don't know what more they can do. They have vocalized their contempt for the left time and again throughout this process. And as they scream unity at the top of their lungs, that is coded in a, you know, language that blames you if anything goes wrong in November, which very well likely will. <laughs> I mean, uh, I shouldn't say that because, you know, now that this global pandemic has changed a lot, Biden maybe could pull out a victory, but it just, when you have less enthusiasm going into this election than Hillary Clinton and Trump has that incumbency advantage, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. So understand that they hold you in contempt. They don't care about you. And they're not willing to change it. Even if they lose, they don't care. This is about class interests above all else. It's just a matter of working class people coming together and acknowledging their class interests and material needs. So, you know, Biden bros, I've been dealing with them, but people online are mean so you know it, it's it's petty to complain about it but you know i'm gonna call this out it's is exactly what i'm gonna do because they wasted you know not a single second whenever there was a bernie bro who was mean to them they spotlighted it it was broadcasted on mainstream media cnn did an investigative report about how you know sanders supporters were bombarding elizabeth warren with snake emojis and pete would judge with rat emojis which is all true but that's not harassment these are wealthy, rich, powerful people, if they can't put up with snake emojis, then they were never going to be able 
to beat Donald Trump. But, you know, it's just the hypocrisy, which I think is something we can never let them off the hook for.